Good morning, students. Welcome to e-learning grammar session. In our previous class, we learned about tenses, present tense. Today, we are going to learn about the rest of the two tenses, that is past and future. So, let's quickly remember what we learned in our previous class, that is present tense. <laughs> Present tense describes the action in the present time as past tense describes the action in the past time, future also the same and action describes describes an action in the future time. Okay. So present tense deals with or used to refer a universal truth. An habitual action historical present that is graphic present an action that is just complete and practice custom habit okay that's the all about present tense that we learned in our previous class now past tense As we know that tense is the change of form in a verb to express the time of an action, the time of an action. So past tense describes an action in the past time, <coughs> past and future also the four forms that is simple or indefinite continuous or progressive perfect and perfect continuous First of all, past simple or simple past or past indefinite tense. Past indefinite tense is refers to a single act. A single act. Past indefinite tense refers to a single act. As example, I did it. Past indefinite tense also refers to an action actually going on in the past time. An action actually going on in the past time. As example, why they dance we sang. Here, they dance means, here they dance means they were dancing. And we sang means we we are singing. And that's why the rule is an action actually going on in the past time. Okay. Past indefinite has another rule that is it used in habitual habitual action in the past time habitual action in the past time as example he studied studied hard that means he used to study used to study that's why it's called habitual action okay and the structure of this tense is subject, verb, and object. B for verbs, S for subject, O for object. Subject, verb, and object. Here, verb is the second form. Or, 
fast forms. Now, past continuous or past progressive. Past continuous <coughs> describes an action that was going on in the past time. That was going on, going on in the past time. As example, I was, I was reading. She was sleeping. That's why the structure is subject plus watch where plus bar plus element and that are remaining or object. Okay. This is the past continuous. Next, past perfect. So the past perfect is here an action complete, complete before an another past. Remember, an action complete before an another past. As example, he had lived. He had lived before I gave. <coughs> Look at carefully. He had lived, that is past. And before I came, before I came, that is in simple past. And that's only past part. Here, had lived, he had lived, and I came to action. The rule is an action complete before an another past. So, he had lived before I came. That's why the he had lived, which is the accent, which is more earlier, is in past perfect and which is less earlier, is in past simple past. Okay? Now, past perfect continuous. First part, the structure is subject plus Okay. I had been working. So, 
the structure is I subject had been working for plus ing and the object and remain. So now future, future as you know future <coughs> and here an action, an action will be happen, an action will be happen in the future time. An action will be happen. in the future time. That will be future indefinite things. Here an action will be happen in the future time. And the, as example, I shall do. So, the, here I is the subject shall or will and verb. Okay. This is the central structure of future indefiniteness. Now, future continuous. Here, an action, future continuous, an action will be going on in the future time. An action will be going on at future time. That's why, as example, I I sell I shall be sleeping at that time. I shall be sleeping at that time. That means an action that's going on in the future. Yes, so its structure is subject plus self will plus self will plus B plus for plus I. Okay. Next, future perfect is. Future perfect is it. Future perfect. Future perfect tense represents an action that will be complete at some point of time in the future. As example, he will have done this before you came. What about future perfect? Here, an action will be completed, will be completed at some future time. That's why he will have done this before you came. The sentence structure, subject plus self help or we will have plus half and here the half pass but is good for the half the last one is future perfect continuous tense Actually, practically, it has no use. Future perfect continuous tense practically has no use. <coughs> to here, future perfect continuous tense to express an action that is assumed to be going on in the future. Okay, assumed. Remember the term. Here. The action is assumed to be going on in future time.
as example the sentence structure would be subject plus shall have been we have been plus part plus i that is the structure of future perfect continuous tense and practically it has no use thank you